you have just anointed a pro of a king and the next chapter the same god said i have rejected the man that you anointed not everybody had god when he was telling him of rejected him but the bible says when god told saul to go and fight that battle he told him don't take the spoils and don't spare the agag the king but when saul took the spoils god rejected him Ah, praise the name of Jesus. And the Bible says when he came, when he came down from the battlefield, he met the man of God and, and told him this. Listen, I know God anointed you. I know God wanted you to be king. But the same God is now saying that he has rejected you. Because now, listen, Saul, obedience is better than sacrifice. God calls for obedience more than your money. God calls for obedience more than the spoils. I've come to understand, child of God, you can lose on a time of impartation simply because of being insensitive to the voice of God. I have come to accept there is no lack of anointing in the land. People are anointed in the land. There is a lack of obedient men who can carry the anointing. Hallelujah. Anointing is there because the oil is there. Hallelujah. The oil is still there. But then, listen, this same man was anointed, but that oil was still in him. But at this point, that oil is not working for him. Moto, moto ya jana ni moshi ya leo. Moto ya jana ni moshi ya leo. Listen, the fact that you are ordained as a man of God does not mean that you can just sleep like a dead man competing with the dead to sleep and expect the grace of God to work for you. 